CSGO Surf Pros can do the most insane spins, but they can also perform extremely smooth and slow turns for long periods of time. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do the same, starting with the binds. Bind mouse one plus left and bind mouse two plus right. It's that simple. And don't worry about messing up your CSGO binds because here's how you revert it. Bind mouse one plus attack and bind mouse two plus attack two. This is the most common setup, but you can also use alternate keys like mouse four and mouse five if you like. Now, here's how you actually use these binds to their fullest potential. We're gonna start in CSS, but don't skip ahead because everything we use here is going to apply to CSGO. So before we start, make sure you have developer console enabled. Go to options, then click advanced and click that second ticker, enable developer console. And you'll notice if you press tilde right below escape, it'll pull up the console. Now input our two commands. You can literally copy them from the description below. Bind mouse one plus left and bind mouse two plus right. Now you can try out the binds. If you press mouse one, you should move to the left. If you press mouse two, you should move to the right. When you do a spin, you can hold down this turn bind and it will turn you at a consistent rate through the spin. However, sometimes when you jump on a random map and try to use these turn binds, you're turning way too quickly. There are two main solutions to this problem. First is CL yaw speed. This command is amazing because it allows you to set a custom speed for your turn bind. You'll notice after you type it in, there's a number. So CL yaw speed 210 is the default. If you set that to something like 80, you'll notice immediately that your turn bind is way slower. I personally love CL yaw speed 80, but this might be too slow for some people. So other values I've used are 110 and 150, especially when I had a smaller mouse pad. And the added bonus of a lower yaw speed is that you can become instantly smoother for long turns. The second solution is shift turn binding, and I wouldn't recommend this. Sometimes you'll notice if you're turn binding and press walk at the same time, it will slow down your turn. But it turns out this actually kills your air acceleration and then lowers your units. So try to keep this to a minimum or when units do not matter, which is really, really rare. Now we can hop into CSGO turn binds where we're going to use everything we just learned minus any console binds. You're never going to use console. Go to the first link in the description and download T5 Mats Turnbinds. It is a very small, super simple program that does turnbinds externally and no, you're not going to get banned. Right off the bat, once you get into the menu, things should look very familiar. Plus left, plus right, CL yaw speed and sensitivity. You move around the menu by using the arrow keys, mostly up and down, and then change a keybind by pressing enter and then the desired key. So do plus left and plus right. You can set them to mouse one and mouse two. Then go to CL yaw speed and put in two numbers, a lower value for CL yaw speed and then the default to 10. You'll see why later. Then go down to sensitivity and set it to your in-game sense. If you don't know what your sensitivity is, you can go right to CSGO and in console type in sensitivity. So why multiple numbers? This is because we can actually set a toggle yaw. If you go back up to cycle and bind it to an open key, for example, I use middle mouse button, it's pretty good, you will be able to cycle between a lower and higher yaw speed mid run. For example, if you're on a very slow map, you might start on 80, then press your cycle button and go up to 210. This is an amazing tool for when one turn bind value is not enough. Now we can finally come in game and use those turn binds. Make sure you unbind the keys that you want to use for these settings. So I unbound mouse one and mouse two. And voila, you now have your turn binds. They're way slower, more controllable, and you can cycle up to a higher value. With a big disclaimer, do not get over-reliant on turn binds. It can come to the point where you need turn binds every time you turn. If you do not learn how to use your mouse, you will not get better at surf. Now, how do you actually use your turn binds in these runs? 90% of the time, you will be pressing a turn bind and moving your mouse at the same time with the turn bind, especially when you are at a low yaw speed. This is how I personally get extremely smooth long turns when I need them, but it takes some getting used to. It's definitely a skill. This can be used to a certain extent to make up for small mouse space as well. And listen, if turn binds aren't doing enough to make you smoother, you're gonna have to check out my video, Top 5 Tips for CS Surfers. It covers broad topics that will make you a better surfer overall. Thanks for watching and good luck sliding those triangles.